I'm back. He's back. And it's time for another Jack. episode of Army Reptiles. Army Reptiles. Dun, 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 dun. Don't dance. Don't dance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So this was the pairing board. We mapped out sort of the things that we're trying to do each year. And I put the males at the top, and I put the females listed below that I want that male to go to. And then every time I see a lock and put it through rotation, I put a dot next to it. And that way I can keep track of how many locks have been with each female. And uh, we kind of just keep going until we get eggs. Not till we get eggs, till we can see that they ovulate. But still there. <laughs> still there. So let's do some pairings. Let's do some pairings. You grab this lemon blast scaleless head boy. He's been pairing up with this pastel scaleless head girl right here. She would just shed, apparently. So. This is one of Ben's favorite projects. Hopefully we'll get some Super Blast Scaleless. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I'd be into that. Uh, when Miguel Snake. <laughs> Cause it's too many genes to talk about. Um, let me just make sure who we're gonna do. Okay. Spider. And then let's see. Fire spot nose. Triple head holy grail. Which is a lavender clown pied. It's going to Pied Possible Hat Lavender. Where did I put you? How often do you pair things and how long do you leave them in for? I put them in for about three days. I keep an eye on them. And then uh, I'll pull them out, give them like a day or two break, and then rotate it to the next female. And just keep cycling through that way. Um, if, I, if it's feeding time, I will feed and let it sit for three days so that it has time to digest because I've noticed early on in the breeding, when we first started breeding, that if we paired them together too quickly after eating, you would end up getting, sometimes they re regurgitate. So we don't want that to happen. So we give them enough time to kind of digest the food a bit. Uh, Enchi Inferno. One thing we do here is we always move the male. This guy's cool. We always move the male into the female's enclosure. Mm-hmm. But you can do it any way you want. He's going in. What is that bottom one? Uh, pastel. Oh, we decided to do that. What are we doing, Ben? Uh, you made the list, Ryan. Oh. This fire female that we produce, very pretty. I like to give them a little bit of a moisture, kind of like helps the humidity, kind of simulates the rain. A lot of times they like to pair up when it's raining so uh, let's see and she banana lori uh, which the ng banana lori has been looking awesome lately she just shed this past week she's looking so good so and she highway oh, it's in the big man just move some stuff around here. Let's see highway. So that's her. So 
some moisture. GHI pewter. This boy. And he's ready for the Firefly uh, Pastel Calico. Who hasn't? Thanks for us yet. She might eat him. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. Pastel Lori Hidden G Woma. He's a young one, producing sperm plugs. So he's going to our Super Lori female here, who looked like she might have ovulated yesterday, but it's ovulated? hard to tell. Mm. Hard to tell. I say tail. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. She's been hard to tell. Ryan's palpating right now, seeing if he can feel the follicles. She, if she did ovulate, they disappeared. <laughs> She just, I didn't palpate her yesterday, she just was looking big when I was doing the spot cleaning. Let's see, GHI Royal Fire. There's Ego. Oh. I had everything in here a certain way for a long time, so I'm like reaching that old bin, so. He's gorgeous. Love this snake. So he's going to go to a GHI. He's always feisty. Very pretty. Super GHI and Royal Fires. Be fun. Be interesting. Let's see, Killer Leopard Clown is going to go to. GHI Fire. GHI Fire's on the right. Aha. She's going into shed a little bit. She is going into shed. But GHI Firefly Leopard Head Clowns. Be neat, I think. I don't know why Ben's all wrapped up in this clown project. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Pied Possible Head Lab. Did you see that I tagged you in uh, Guy Produced? Mm -hmm. Coral Glow Arroyos? Yes, I did see that. That was awesome. I like it. I really want to get Arroyo and more stuff. So, I have to Het Lavender. Het Lavender. Already pooped a little bit. And what else? Uh, oh, and that's it for now. So that was exciting. We also have a bunch of non-ball python stuff that we gotta get pairing. So one of the things that we have, this is our proven breeder pair of anthills. I'm sure, I think Ben flexed these yesterday's video, or today's, <laughs> came out today? Came out today. Put them in. They breed on the same cycle as ball pythons. So let them get acquainted. And then this pair is now ready. Yes, yes, yes. I see. Go ahead. It's crazy how small they are when they breed. Hopefully, we'll have two clutches of these this year. And then behind Ben, 
we're gonna put our rhino rat snakes together. I had a bit of a time trying to get them uh, in the bin yesterday. I'm about to have a time. Please spill the water. Can't wait to see this happen. Remember that time in Tinley when I spilled all that water? Nah, what are you talking about? It would never ruin a charity organization's table. You just go there, with your girlfriend. Dude, seriously, yesterday, neither of them wanted to get in their tub. It was like. <laughs> you know what? I'm the snake whisperer. It was like herding cats yesterday in here. Hopefully we'll have, those guys will double and triple clutch, so hopefully we'll have several clutches of those this year. So some of the ways you can see if they're receptive to breeding, and, and one of the reasons why you'll notice if you see our videos or other people's videos about their snakes breeding, is the bins will often be dirty, and we just showed you this bin not a minute ago, <laughs> and they've already peed, and that's one of the things that they do they will uh, do tail dragging and urinate to scent the cage. And that is a, a typical response to being receptive to breeding. Gross. Happy New Year, Ryan. Happy New Year's. Random picker. YouTube comments, let's see. 108 unique comments. Wow. That's a lot less than is on there. Does it count the comments that I put on there? I guess. Yeah. It was 990 views. But oh, let's see. Yeah. 237 comments and we replied to everything. So that was double that. I suppose it's half. Okay. okay 108 people. Here we go. For the hook and a happy new year. Scene Graham. <laughs> Sean Graham. You're the winner. Sean Graham. Scene Graham. Nope, Sean Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Sean. You did it. Thanks, guys, for watching our video. Uh, it's good to have Ryan back finally. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you like this video, make sure <laughs> make sure you hit the like button down there and uh, the subscribe button over here helps us out. Let's know that uh, you guys like watching our videos. And give us a and, comment on your New Year's re resolutions. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let us know what you know, snake you really want to work with, or what reptile you want to work with. Any goal that with. you're trying to hit this year. Or any goal. That's even if it's a magnetic a fishing goal. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching our videos. And, uh, yeah, we'll be seeing you around soon. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. I'm back. He's back. Jack. Welcome. It's RB Reptiles. We're gonna show you some stuff. And it is New Year's Eve here, so Happy New Year's. And I don't stink, but that's fine. <laughs> <coughs> Ryan's back. Don't get a real job. Just keep living and dreaming and breeding snakes. That's right. That is the goal for 2020. <laughs> is it? Uh, stay tuned. I am resolved. <laughs> it's a long intro. Mm. Zip it up. You want to do it again? Yeah, one more time. All right. It looks like a plumbus. Oh, <laughs> Christopher Plumbus? Mm hmm. <laughs> For some reason, I got like this. Yeah, I know. Can you see me? No. 
If I go like this, do you put your arms out like in a different direction? <laughs> do you think the okay. <clears throat> Thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> this is forced perspective. Ryan is not that tiny. Um, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for uh, like watching our videos. <laughs> and uh, please, if you like this video, hit the like button there and make sure you hit the subscribe button it helps us out and it lets us know that people actually watch our videos um and uh yeah if you hit that notification bell you'll know when we put out new things so also in this video you guys are gonna see who won this the snake hook this oh yeah sorry congratulations In insert <laughs> name of guy we haven't drawn yet girl guy or girl person <clears throat> Thank you so much. 2020, here we come. We're gonna do it. <laughs> We're gonna do it. <laughs>